Before you left the service, you managed to get your boob job paid for by the military. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. How did God you do bless that? America. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love the military. Um, oh, how did I do that? Oh, my gosh. Okay. I was in Monterey, and not a lot of people go get plastic surgery there because it's a, la- a language institute. So mm-hmm. it's mostly students. Mm-hmm. But my surgeon, I told him about my situation with my, my husband, that we got divorced, and he would kind of like joke about my boobs a lot Mm -hmm. so if you have any sort of um mental problem with your body or like body dysmorphia they'll give you a free cosmetic surgery because they want their soldiers to be confident yeah (laughs) i've had soldiers get their vagina snipped like yeah so i went to the surgeon and um he doesn't do that kind of plastic surgery so he sent me to the air force the air force does amazing boobs like (laughs) I salute the Air Force. So yeah, he was like, no one really gets surgery here because they're all students. I would love for you to be my my guinea pig and send you up there and see how it turns out. So it was a free boob job. Wow. Yeah. So I went up, the Air Force did it, and then... Wait, so I like really want to get like lipo on my midsection after the baby because I just can't lose the weight. So should I just join the military? (laughs) Yeah. The military wives get lots of surgery. Really? Yeah, I don't know if there's a cap on their surgery. Like for us, it's usually one cosmetic surgery, uh-huh. but I think they can just do it. Wait, as much so as the they wives want. get as much as they want? I think so, yeah. How does that work? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's kind of because like then, like, rude. then, like, happy wife, happy life. Yeah, like, maybe. if your wife's happy and feels like she, then it's you're happy. And probably. Then... That makes sense. That's. <laughs> but yeah, so read your regulations if you're in the military because you never know what's in the. The fine line, like what you could get out of the army. Like you, the army uses you, so you need to use it back a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I mean, that, you know, fair enough. (laughs) Fair enough. Wow, that is, that is, I learned something new today. Yeah. Um, So how did you make the transition to porn? Um, Oh, good question. Well, I started camming. And I actually started, I'm going to say this on here because I can say it now. Okay. But I actually started camming while I was in the military, which is not allowed. But right. But I did it my last year because I wasn't making any money. I could barely afford to But live. also, like, they paid for your boobs. Like, sh- like shouldn't yeah. you, like, you pay for my boobs. Why can't I show them to everybody? Yeah, the exactly. The great job that you. They did amazing. <laughs> did for me. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny because when I was getting my boobs done, the doctor said, um, I don't want to give you porn star boobs. Like, you don't need huge boobs. And the irony, I'm a porn star now. Yeah. <laughs> like, you should have came through with the bigger boobs. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I started camming for a little bit. Um, I met some girls who were cam girls. I was like, you're making what I make in a year in, like, a month. Like, mm-hmm. I need to do what you're doing. So when I saw I was getting really comfortable with that, I could get out of the Army and survive in Mm -hmm. California, like making a good paycheck, you know? Mm -hmm. So I got out. um, I started going to college. COVID hit. Um, I couldn't get a job anywhere. I was getting lonely on cam um, because, you know, it's just from your bedroom. You don't really meet anyone. So uh, my fans were the ones who were like, you're really good at performing. Like, you should do this professionally. And they sent me a bunch of um, agencies that were on the AVN website. Mm. So they helped me get into porn. Wow. So I, like, owe my career to my fans. Oh, my God. That's really sweet. (laughs) Yeah. So I still cam all the time, and they're like, you've come so far. Like, Oh, my God. really sweet. They, like, carried you through your career. They're my best friends. That's (laughs) awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, I think a lot of people who don't really know a lot about the adult industry and specifically about camming are surprised to hear that performers can have, like, a good relationship you know, with, with their fans, fans yeah. that isn't just like this kind they of teach me so monetary much. exchange. I mean, obviously yeah. there's a monetary exchange, but there is like, there can be like a real connection and, and authentic friendship there. There is. Yeah. Like even if I'm going through something, they'll give me advice and help me get through it. Like, and I'm there for them too. So it's like transactional in a way, like we're yeah. both there for each other. Yeah. But it's like real friendship, especially when you meet them at Avian or mm-hmm. the Expos Expos. It's just fun. Yeah. You know, to actually like, see them. In they're person. good people. And- yeah. 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 The, the idea that like every guy on cam is like some creepy perverted. I mean, often I find. There are those like rude people. Of course. You know, but that's everywhere, right? That's everywhere. Yes. I I find though that honestly you have much nicer fans um, or much nicer people on your camming sites on yeah. OnlyFans than you do on social media. Cause when people start paying for your content, they're not yeah. there to like 
beat to shit on you. Exactly. But like on Instagram, like mm-hmm. they're there, YouTube. Yeah. They're there to shit on you. Exactly. It's, like, free, so it's free. It's free. So I can say like whatever I want to you <laughs> behind the pseudonym. You yeah. have no idea who I am. And I could say exactly. horrible things to you and make you feel bad about yourself. But the ones who are actually like willing to pay for your time. Yeah. And the camp fans nice. are honestly, the camp fans are the most loyal fan base because mm-hmm. they're getting to know you as a person versus mm-hmm. just watching you on a porn site. Yeah. So I'm just so thankful for them. (laughs) My career, I think that's really what set me apart in my career versus other new girls coming in was that I have that like loyal fan base. Right. Yeah. 